All right, so this is the second part of the radial gradient um, and stamping. Uh, so I'm using this plate from Marianne, uh, and it's a gigantic plate. It's the XXL5 plate, and I'm using this image from it, but there are lots of gorgeous uh, images on this plate and believe it or not it was an untried until today because i have way too many untried plates um i forgot to mention last time my nails are prepped with uh manny defender liquid latex um and uh my uh, part one of this series uh showed you how i did the radial gradient and uh, now i'm going to double stamp um, and I'm going to use two El Corazon uh, kaleidoscope polishes. First I'm going to use silver then I'm going to use uh, my trusty black and I really like this black one um, and I use it quite a bit because even though it's nicely pigmented and um, shows up really well it's not difficult to clean up like some blacks can be so so I really quite like that. Anyhow, so um, I'm just going to do a quick double stamping here, first with the silver. Okay. Scrape on and stamp. Clean on my lint roller. Clean the image real quick. Make sure there's no lint fibers. Go in with black. Line it up and press down. Okay. Then I'm just going to clean that up so I don't get it on myself. Um, so I am going to show you the cleanup portion because I am really liking even more the Fabio Nails cleanup brush that I also received from Lantern and Wren. And the more I use it, the, the more I really love it um, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, you really don't have to press very hard. I mean, just really light strokes will get you a nice clean line. Okay, and um, and it really, I have very uh, high sidewalls, if you can't tell, and um, this has no trouble getting into those sidewalls like I did there. And, and again, if you just use the very tip of the brush, you can get into the corners really easily okay and again you don't have to press very hard so anyway there you go thanks for watching